So, uh, I got an email in my uh, YouTube uh, box, and it was from a guy named Joe, a really nice fellow actually, from uh, the Metro News here in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. He had a bunch of questions for me and kind of caught me off track. I just woke up when I phoned him back and uh, wasn't prepared for my first interview actually. Uh, he asked me a few questions and uh, I'm seeking any kind of help. I'd also like to thank people like Itchy Chick for showing me how to read the jet stream and posting her jet stream follow up maps for Canada and the US. Big help, I learned a load from you. Miss Milky the Clown too, the information she has and uh, connecting the dots too, I might add. A lot of people have had to use the same name but put two behind it now because they've had to change accounts for some reason, I'm not sure. But I'd like to thank all those people, especially connecting the dots. He went right across Canada in his uh, mobile, taking readings and uh, accepting donations for gas. And he really inspired me. But uh, thank you, everybody, for your help. And now I am reaching out to YouTube, asking for help. Connecting the dots had asked me to spray white vinegar on the area and then take a reading and then dig down a bit, take a reading, spray more white vinegar. So I'd like to know what the white vinegar is supposed to uh, kill because... Uh, I wanted to tell the reporter this morning, but I, I didn't know why that was suggested. I don't know if it kills radon, thoron. What does it uh, what does it kill? I've read that you can use baking soda and vinegar to wash your vegetables. So uh, any info on that, any update connecting the dots too would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I am going to put Joe's information right here. Uh, feel free to email him uh, if you can back up any of the stuff that I said or you can uh, elaborate on some of the information or you can do a better job please email him please help get the word out uh, if you have videos of uh, Geiger County readings before Fukushima please feel free to email them to him uh, I need everybody to get on the ball on this uh, I'm starting to receive a lot of emails and uh, I need your help but uh, explanation on the white vinegar exactly what it's supposed to do would be appreciated. I would have bought a big bottle of it today. I got a brand new spray bottle that'll be in my next video because we are expecting lots of rain here in eastern Ontario. Uh, somebody asked me about uh, the jet stream and how I follow it. You know what? Connecting the dots said, oh, I checked the jet stream after that day. It was a bit north of you. Well, I don't think they can really predict exactly where the wind's going to blow. So if it's headed my way and it's in my general area, I go out take a reading. So uh, just to elaborate on that, I don't go by like exactly where it is. If it's coming down through Ontario into Quebec, along the border, even close to the border, I know it's going to come over Ottawa. Even if it's a little north of me on the map, I don't care. I'm still going to take the reading because it's in my general area. And as we know, the wind can change. The wind, you can't predict the wind pattern. Okay, You can predict the jet stream pretty good, but it's not a hundred percent accurate you know what I mean like it could spread a hundred kilometers or 200 kilometers so that's not exactly accurate so as long as it's blowing my way that's all I watch for so uh, enjoy the video all right so I got a email from a fellow named Joe and uh, he works for the Metro News Ottawa and he's asked me to call him to uh, do an interview so let's give him a call. Five four four zero. Hello, Joe speaking. Hi, Joe. My name is Bruce Strickland. You sent me an email about a Geiger counter reading here in Ottawa. Uh, radiation detector readings on YouTube. Oh, yes, yes. Are you the person who uploaded the video? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Uh, sorry, what was your name again? My name is Bruce Strickland. Okay. And you're from Ottawa? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to ask you uh, just a little bit about your, your video and, and what device you use and and also, I want to ask if you, you if you did these uh, these tests before uh, uh, Fukushima. Uh, no, I didn't. I started doing the tests after Fukushima. Okay. Okay, so it would be hard to, I guess, tell how the levels compared before and after. Uh, 
uh, no, actually, uh, my best friend that got me into it used to do uh, Geiger counter readings. He actually bought a Geiger counter trying to test his home for radon gas. So he was playing with his Geiger counter before Fukushima, and uh, we, we compared the levels before and after. So the levels have definitely went up. Uh, is he from Ottawa as, as well? Uh, no, he's not. He's out in Castleman somewhere. And Broom, I think it's called. He comes into Ottawa. Okay. Um, so what what's this device that you use? I use a Soaks radiation detector, Geiger counter. It is a, a newer version. Uh, they were made in 2011. And I ordered it from Russia. So it's not a cheap copy or cheap one from China. It's an actual Geiger counter. It's a pretty good one. Uh, on my videos, I have stated everything it does, uh, what it picks up. It takes uh, x-ray radiation into account as well. So uh, I'm kind of learning as I go. And that's the other reason I'm putting videos out on YouTube is because I'm trying to get other people to help me and give me tips and tell me what to do. I've received a few emails, actually quite a few. And uh, people are telling me to uh, spray white vinegar on the source after I take a reading to see if it drops, dig down, dig away from it do more readings so I'm trying to figure out what that does if it kills radon background or what that kills so like I said I'm learning as I go but the levels keep going up and up uh, I check the jet stream weather maps and uh, every time there's jet stream weather the numbers just go right up like unbelievably but if it's not jet stream weather the levels pretty much stay normal so and what is normal is it zero or? Uh, about 13 0 0.13 but my last reading, that uh, that kind of made me sick just looking at the numbers. And like I said, I'm kind of learning as I go. But as I'm watching the numbers go up and up, if you watch my videos over the past, say, six months, the numbers are going up and up and up and up. It's just, it, it kind of scares me watching these levels go up so high. I mean, if you watch that, that video that you contacted me over, that, those are very high numbers. Yeah, I'd say four and a half. So say and four point. Four. Pardon me. Is that the highest you've recorded? That's the highest I've ever recorded. I've never even even testing a a smoke detector that has a radiation warning on the back of it. It only went into the yellow. Like it didn't even not even half of what my drain gave me. So and I mean, there's a warning label on a smoke detector. So, but our our government, our news media, nobody's warning us to stay out of the rain. Nobody's telling us not to collect rainwater. Nobody's telling us what's going on. Uh, why is there such a media blackout on this? I mean, it's up to citizens on YouTube taking readings, trying to warn each other. And here I am with a Geiger counter learning as I go. Like, should I even be at this drain doing this? Like, am I putting myself in risk? Like, it's so hard to get any help or information on this. Because uh, I read the manual on how to set it up, how to set the microsieverts per hour. And, uh, I mean, it's a brand new Geiger counter from Russia. I mean, uh, if I'm going to trust anybody to build me a Geiger counter, it's going to be Russia after Chernobyl. I mean, everybody over there has a Geiger counter, and they're all soaks. So uh, I have faith in my uh, radiation detector for sure. And how did, you, how did you buy it? I bought it off eBay right after Fukushima. And after Fukushima, I did some rain tests, and uh, it wasn't bad, like it wasn't going up. But over the past six months, if you again, if you watch my videos, you'll see that the numbers keep going up and up and up. Every time it rains, it gets worse. And is that the ideal time to, to do a test? From what I know, yeah. But I have also went out in the daytime uh, every once in a while checking in the background radiation actually goes up even on sunny days when the jet stream is blowing across us so uh, that concerns me as well and uh, like I said again I'm learning as I go sir so even if you have any contacts here in Ottawa maybe the University of Ottawa is what I was thinking of trying but uh, if you have anybody that could direct me or help me I greatly appreciate it as well Before we do anything, we would have to call um, 
either Environment Canada or uh, or the NRC to find out what. Well, that's that that's something else that bothers me. I tried calling the Nuclear Safety Commission. I think it's on Spark Street. It's here in Ottawa, and I've called them and nobody ever answers. No, because I want to find out about, uh, you know, can I get them to calibrate my Geiger counter and check it and maybe get a certification sticker or something, you know, so people can't say, oh, look, his Geiger counter's no good or it's a cheap guy. Like, I wanted to find out, like, could I get it, uh, you know, uh, calibrated? And uh, nobody ever answers. <laughs> so that kind of shocked me as well. And when did you try to call them? Uh... I'd say two months ago I tried three times. I actually made a video I could repost about it, uh, trying to get a hold of them and nobody was answering. Okay, you just called the general phone number? Yeah, the uh, Nuclear Safety Commission for like emergencies and stuff. <laughs> nobody answered. So it's really hard to get any information. It's like uh, nobody wants to talk to you, and when you talk to other people, they think you're crazy and they just fluff you off. Like nobody wants to hear it. So. Okay. Um, so what, what was your what was your goal in in posting these videos uh, from the beginning? Uh, from the beginning, uh, just for my own safety, actually, uh, just wanted to see what was going on. Uh, just kind of a hobby. Uh, I know during Chernobyl and stuff like that, uh, the citizens weren't warned and a lot of people died of cancer and there's birth deformities and stuff. So I figured, you know what, maybe I should get a Geiger counter and uh, start taking readings. So it, w it started out kind of as a hobby and now it's kind of uh, going viral on YouTube. Like I'm getting emails of people trying to help me, trying to educate me, trying to tell me what to do at the sites, how to dig, uh, spray white vinegar. So uh, they're telling me about radon and thoron washout. So uh, I'm kind of, like I said, it started as a hobby, but uh, I'm learning a lot more as I go, and it seems like a lot of people don't want me to stop. What started out as just a hobby and a video on YouTube is kind of turned out to every time it rains, i got to go out now. People are kind of expecting me to go out and take a reading. Right. So now, now I'm looking to get deeper into it, and I need advice. Like I, I would love somebody to help me if uh, you do do... Uh, a story on it please feel free to give uh, my uh, YouTube site and uh, anybody willing to help me or work with me or give me advice I'd gladly gladly accept the help okay all right well um, yeah like I said before we do anything we'd have to uh, talk to I guess the experts in this and find out uh, what this means okay if there's any any real danger Okay, well, there's definitely a danger. I mean, you've seen the numbers. Like, there's definitely a danger. Even if it was just radon or thoron washout, that's still a danger because radon is the number one cause of lung cancer in non-smokers. So even if that's radon washout coming from a plant, say, west of me, that's still very dangerous. So that I do know. I mean, that is that is not it safe. It would be hard. It would be very difficult to determine if, if that's a result of radiation from Japan. Well, I'll tell you what. When it's not jet stream, my levels don't go up. But when it's jet stream, my levels are skyrocketing now. And like I said, I just had an email. If you go back to my video, you'll see a guy uh, connecting the dots. Uh, he was he went across Canada with a Geiger counter, actually. He's one of the ones that really got me into it, watching his videos. And uh, he told me to use white vinegar. I guess the white vinegar... When you spray it, will kill radon washout. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I just got this email yesterday, so I just started investigating that last night and haven't had time today. But uh, I am working on using the white vinegar and finding out if that's killing the thoron and radon. And I'd have more news about that maybe in a couple days. But uh, I'm hoping that spraying the white vinegar will kill the radon and thoron washout. And then we'll know what exactly is coming down. Rate, uh, well, from nuclear plants, they uh, they let off the steam to lower the pressure. So, uh, and open mines, uh, it also comes from open mines. And granite, I believe, it comes up. You, you've heard of people having their basement tested for radon gas. Yeah, so it's kind of the same thing. I just want to make, we're going to make sure it's not that. But like I said, even if it was that coming down in the rain, then uh, that's still highly, highly, highly above normal. I mean, I've never seen my Geiger counter go in the red like that. 
And I, like I said, I've tested uh, smoke detectors, and they have a radiation warning on the back of them, and it didn't even go like a quarter as high. So take it from there. A smoke detector has a radiation warning on the back of it, and it was in the yellow. Like it, it went to maybe 50, 0 0.50. I mean, this, this, this drain was off the charts. From, from what I know, at 1.00, you're supposed to evacuate with readings like that. So I kind of got sick to my stomach watching the last, uh, doing the last video, watching those numbers climb. Uh, it really scared me. And when did you do the test where it went to four? What day was that? Oh, uh, it was on the video. I think it was the 5th. I believe it was the 5th, August 5th. Okay, and you posted it? Right away. When I do my videos, I post them right after I take them. I am in Gloucester, sir. Okay. Ennis Road in the 417. I'm available to meet with you if you want to look at the manual for my Geiger counter. Again, on the video, if you look, I posted all the information on my Geiger counter because uh, it does take into effect the background uh, X-ray radiation. So uh, I'm pretty sure when I'm doing these readings, I'm, I'm pretty sure my Geiger counter cancels out the radon, natural, the naturally occurring radon around me. So... Like I said, I'm going to go to the Ottawa, University of Ottawa and find out more. We're learning as I go here. So any help you can give me or anybody out there that hears you or you talk to, if anybody anybody can help me, like please give them my number or my contact information. Okay, if I do want to get a hold of you uh, later on, um, how can I reach you? Uh, my phone number is 613 Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Uh, so I'll, I'll make some uh, calls. Like I said, there's no guarantee something will happen, but I'm gonna I'm gonna look into it and see what I can find. Okay. And uh, if I have something, I'll give you a call back. Okay, and I'll keep doing research of it, the weight vinegar, and trying to see if it's the radon or what's going on there, and I'll try to get more information for you. And uh, guarantee these numbers are gonna keep going up. So I'll be talking to you soon, Joe. Okay. All That's right. Good. Sorry, I didn't catch your name at the beginning. My name is Bruce Strickland. Bruce and it's S T R I C K L A N D. L A N D. Okay, great. All right, thanks for speaking with me, Bruce. Well, I thank you for taking the interest and in getting a hold of me. And feel free to give me a call anytime. And if you have anybody that can help me or direct me, please feel free to give my contact info. Okay, sounds good. Thank you very much, Joe. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. Hmm.